Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on extension work. Roman numerals. Roman numerals occur in a number of places. Firstly, we see them on many clocks. So instead of the normal numbers, you'll see these numbers here. And this is what they stand for. Okay, you've got the numbers here from 1 to 6, and these are the Roman numerals for those numbers. So it's basically just think of the capital letter I if you like. 1, 2, 3. That's the capital letter V. When you have a 1 in front of it, that's really 5 take away 1. That gives you the 4. The V is the 5. When you have the V with a 1 after it, that's 5 plus 1. So here, when the 1 is before the V, you subtract 1 from the V, or the 5. When the 1 is after the V, you add 1. So 5 plus 1 is 6. 5 plus 2 is 7. 5 plus 3 is 8. Now for 9, now X is 10. X represents 10, so if you have a 1 before the X, that's 10 take away 1, and that's why it's 9. 11 is 10 plus 1, and 12 is 10 plus 2. For the larger numbers, 50 is L, 100 is C, 500 is D, and 1000 is M. And let's have a look how we use those on the next slide. Sometimes you'll see Roman numerals on very old buildings. For example, this one here, MCMXX1V. Now remember M was 1000. If that's 1000 there, and we have the C in front, that's a thousand take away a hundred. For there, that's nine hundred. So it's a thousand plus nine hundred, and that gives you one thousand nine hundred. So MCM is one thousand nine hundred. XX1V, ten twenty, and that represents four. So this tells us that the sign above tells us that the building was constructed in nineteen twenty. You'll also see Roman numerals at the end of movies. Not all movies, but a lot of movies have Roman numerals at the end where they tell you when the movie was made. So the above movie was made in 1961. Have a look at that carefully. Pause the slide and see that it is actually 1961. And you can do the same with this one. You can pause the slide and make sure that that is 1961. 24. Halfway between. When we are given two numbers, we can write down the number between the two given numbers. Let's look at some examples. Write down the number which occurs between the given two numbers. Write the answer in the square provided. So just pretend you had a worksheet like this, and you needed to write the answer there. Now, what I suggest you do, you just pause this slide so you can have a look at it for as long as you want and just write the answers <coughs> to each of these questions on a sheet of paper. So we need the number halfway between 4 and 8. We need the number halfway between 10 and 20. The number halfway between 30 and 70. And the number halfway between 100 and 300. MAB blocks. You'll use these a lot in your primary years, so in this year and subsequent years you will use MAB blocks a lot to help you with numbers. Here's a simple example. Write the number represented by the following MAB blocks. Now all you have to remember is this flap here that represents a hundred. Each of these represents a 10 and each of these represents a 1. So you can then work out what the answer is and write it in that square. Now in 10 seconds I will go to the next slide and that will have all the answers written on it. So these are the answers now for the previous slide. The number halfway between 4 and 8 is 6. The number halfway between 10 and 20 is 15. 
the number halfway between 30 and 70 is 50, and the number halfway between 100 and 300 is 200, and these MAB blocks, so here we have 100, that's the flat, well, here we have 10 and another 10, so altogether that's 20, so those two there represent 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, so we add those numbers, 100 plus 20 plus 4 gives us 124. So this video has just given a few simple extension exercises with various types of numbers and various exercises.